Data Frames, which just produced a major report a few weeks ago on the issue of destitution, where they um, found uh, an estimated 1.2 million people experienced destitution uh, during the course of a year. And the group who were most at risk of destitution were young single men. Sanctions, debt uh, being a part, and by no means the only part of that. Is the department able to develop within a strategy an approach to dealing with destitution where this arises from factors such as benefit administration and the application of sanctions? So, uh, forgive me, I think there's, there's two strands to, to, to what you're asking is how, how we support single men um, uh, who are at risk of uh, falling into poverty and supporting them into work. and. Um, you know, we all run constituency surgeries, we've all seen cases like this where uh, a, a young man will come in and um, on the face of it, you know, it might not be very obvious why this person has had a you know, chaotic work history or perhaps never worked before, but actually it does become obvious that there's some quite serious underlying issues there, maybe to do with addiction, maybe to do with mental health um, and other factors as well. Um, and. You know, this is the challenge for, for my department and our network of 700 job centres is how we get better at supporting exactly people like that because the, the, the you know, let's, let's face it the fact the sorted very able uh, single people are in work you know we've got a pretty hot labour market people who want to work are finding work but there are people with with serious barriers um, and uh, you know, a lot of these people are the ones who are being parked on ESA benefits and other forms of benefits and we've got to get much better as I think as a as a government but as a network of work coaches in our job centres of how we how we support people like that to overcome their barriers.